Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the firmware on your Revolution 5.0 Pro system. It's a pretty easy process. It only takes a few minutes. So let's get into it. Um, by the directions, the first thing I did is I downloaded the firmware from the link. Uh, I put that in a easy to find folder so I'll know right where it is. That is the firmware uh, downloaded from the link. The, the directions next say to uh, connect your Revolution Pro to the computer that you're gonna use. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. There, I got a good solid connection. And then to power on the system. All right, system's powering on, it's coming up, and there we go, USB connecting, that's what we want to see. So now let's go back to the laptop I'm using for this demonstration, and perfect, there I see the, uh, I see the system. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the folder where I have that firmware. I'm going to right click on it, select copy. Now I'm going to go back to the, uh, the camera. Um, in this case it's called USB drive. It may be untitled. It all depends on the uh, PC or, or Mac you're using. And I'm going to paste that folder or that file, excuse me, into the folder. Um, you're going to want to put this in the initial spot that you can get in. If you have videos saved on the system, you might see a uh, another uh, folder in there. Don't put it in with the videos, put it uh, prior to that or essentially the root directory. So now that we've done that, the instructions say to um, go ahead and shut, uh, disconnect the system. So we're going to disconnect it, pull the plug, and it said it will power down on its own. Um, and it may power back up or you may have to do it yourself. Let's give it a few seconds here to see what happens. In this case, I think I'm gonna go ahead and expedite the process. I'm gonna power it back on. Now what we're looking for is a message saying, uh, do you wanna go ahead and upgrade the firmware? Perfect, yes I do. So now right now you see the blue X is highlighted. I need to get the round circle highlighted so I'm going to go ahead and hit the uh, minus button that moved it over so that's good now I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and there we have it it's processing this will not take very long three of six four of six five of six firmware update success perfect Go ahead and hit the OK to get out of there. And that is it. Your system is now, um, firmware is updated. You can power it back on. And uh, the system will be all set to go, ready to use with the new firmware in place. Pretty simple, only took uh, a little, little over three minutes. So that's it, you're good to go.